So the other day I was working on a project and I was almost finished with the seat cover and I noticed that there was a skipped stitch. My machine skipped a stitch on me. This almost never happens but every once in a while it does and it's really important to know that you can fix that if you need to without having to restart your project all over again. I'm going to show you a trick on how to fix this with no problem so that you can continue on without having to throw your project away. Alright, so what you're going to need to fix the skip stitch here is just a little bit of extra thread of the same color that you used on your top stitch and then just a needle from your sewing machine. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to thread this extra thread we have here through the eye of the needle just like this and what we're going to do is we're going to push it through the hole that the machine made when it skipped this stitch. And then we're going to push it all the way through and we're going to flip it over and we're going to pull one side out just like that. Then I'm going to pull the needle back through to the top side. And you can see here how the needle is still threaded. What we're going to do is go over top of that top thread that was where we have the skipped stitch and we're going to go back into the same hole and we're going to push it all the way back through. Now what we want to try and be careful of is to not go through the thread that we already pushed through the first time. Alright, now once you come through the top or through the bottom, what you want to do is you want to remove this thread from the needle. Just like that. Now I'm going to pull the needle out. And you can see we have one little problem here. And that is that both of these two threads right here are on one side of this bottom bobbin thread. So what we need to do is just push one of these pieces of thread through to the other side. And how I'm going to do that is I'm just going to thread this needle here like this. with only one of the threads and I'm just going to push it over through to the other side alright so once we have that done what we're going to do is we're just going to do one little half knot here to cinch this tight so just like that. You don't want to break it or hurt your fingers or anything. Don't get too crazy, but you just want to pull that tight and then you don't want to flip it over and check. That's definitely pulled tight enough. If I didn't have this arrow here, you probably wouldn't even be able to see this problem that we had. So I'm going to flip this back over and I'm going to put a few more knots in this just to make this permanent. And after that, I'm just going to cut off this extra thread. And this is looking really nice. This happened because the bobbin hook didn't quite catch the thread on the needle when they're coming down to contact each other to create that nice lock stitch that we look for when we're using these industrial sewing machines. So, this can kind of be a problem with these older machines and it happens every once in a while even if they're functioning properly but if you find this happening a lot what you need to do is really take a look at your machine make sure everything's functioning properly make sure you have everything working correctly if you need to take this into somewhere to get it checked out then that's what you need to do because 
even though this is a nice trick to know how to do, you don't want to be doing this all the time. But the first things that you want to look at are, you know, check to make sure your machine's threaded correctly, change your needle if your needle's getting old, make sure your bobbins wound tightly if you're winding, winding your own bobbins, or I always love to use pre-wound bobbins because they're always perfect every time you use them. I've never had any issues with them at all. Make sure your machine's oiled. Check your thread tension that it's set nice and perfect. If you haven't seen the video on setting thread tension, make sure you check it out. The link's right here. And just check to make sure that your machine is functioning properly overall because you don't want to have to be making these fixes all the time. You want your machine to just sew correctly all the time no matter what. So this is just in case this happens, you have this little trick in your toolbox where you can fix your project without having to throw everything away. All right, guys, if you want to watch another video, make sure you click to your right here. And if you want to learn any more about the in-depth upholstery courses we have here at the Lucky Needle, make sure you click right here in the corner. And also, don't forget to subscribe right here below me.